Hi, I'd uh, like to talk about an area that I'm really passionate about as a, a teacher at GWA. Um, I'm, as, a, as, a, as they said, I, I'm the ICT teacher. And I want to talk about how we can teach tomorrow's children in a better way and how we need to involve them in this. Tech use is growing. Technology use across the world is growing. It's, it's, it's not a fad. It's not a craze. It's not something that um, we that's new to all, any of us. It, it, it's something that's changing everything. It's de redefining home life, it's redefining business, and it's redefining w everything we do. Everywhere except, I believe, in school. Unfortunately, there's, there's a disconnect. We've talked about it before um, earlier this afternoon. The disconnect between what we teach in schools and what we, um, what we, exper what we experience in real life outside of schools. The world of glass, it, the day made of glass, is a very inspiring video. If you get a chance to watch it, uh, it's, it's by Corning uh, uh, Industries. And it's a, it's a very inspiring um, thing, looking at how technology is going to be changing the way we live. Um, and Shift Happens, which is uh, by Scott McLeod, it, it came out in about 2007. It's the Did You Know YouTube um, clip that went viral um, about five years ago. It, the most, uh, Phil talked about it earlier, it, it talks about um, that we're preparing students for jobs that haven't been invented yet, uh, using technology that hasn't even been invented, that ha doesn't exist. And I think that's, it's really important to note that when we're, when we're moving forward. We, um, I, I use the, um, the SAMA model by Dr. Puente Juro when I'm talking about what I want, how I want technology to be used in the classroom. Um, and moving from the bottom where we're talking about um, technology substituting what we do in, in, in the classroom, where instead of type, instead of writing, handwriting, we're uh, typing. And instead of researching, using books, we're actually looking online and searching um, for information in, in a more technology way. Instead of, instead of the substitution, we really should be looking more to transforming what we're doing in education. So we're uh, redefining, redefining how we're using technology. The, the, an example of that is, is this conference today. Here I am, standing in front of about 100 people. This is as good as it would get 20 years ago. And now we have an opportunity not just to have these 100 people here, but the hundreds that are watching now and tweeting now, and also the people who will watch it again tomorrow and watch it again over the next few weeks. And, and the, the power of having this technology to redefine how we do things on, and, and what we do is, is, is really inspi inspiring for a, for a geek like me. Um, I want to step back a little, uh, a minute, and I want to ask the teachers and the adults here, and I want to ask you, um, how do you find answers to your questions? And I, and I believe that most of, what, most of us here would automatically reach into our pocket, would pull out the phone or the tablet, and do a quick Google search. And most of the students here go, yeah, of course, that's what you would do. The problem is, in the classroom, that's not what happens. For some reason, there's a, again, there's this divide, this disconnect. We're teaching the students skills of the 19th and 20th century and not the 21st century. And, 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 and this concerns me. Now, what, what I'm concerned about as well is if, what, what should be happening is if we have this accessibility to knowledge, it's no longer about memorizing the facts for the standardized tests. It's no longer about remembering things. It's more moving forward from that. It, it's, it, it's moving towards higher order thinking skills such as applying and evaluating and creating. And, and I believe that all parts of this, uh, this is the digital Bloom's taxonomy pyramid, but each part of that pyramid going up to the top is, works so much better using technology to embed it into our classrooms. So another question, how, how do we present today? And, and most of us today, I, most of us did a PowerPoint. A lot of us would have maybe prepared, prepared, preferred to do something even more um, 
technological, like, for example, uh, presented it via movie or through Animoto or through a Prezi, an online presentation tool. And, and I believe that's, that's how the world works. You go into any business, you don't really see people doing things like role play and skits or drawing a poster. But unfortunately, in, especially in elementary school, that tends to be where we start off because that's what we were comfortable as because that's where we were 20, 30, 40 years ago in our classrooms. And we've, we've got to move forward. We've got to go with the times and we've got to make sure that there isn't this divide between what we ask students to do in the classroom and what they're doing at home. And we've got to make sure we, we, we address this. So what's the block? Why is this happening? Why, why is there this, this divide between what we do in school in general and what we do at home and, 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 and in businesses? And I believe that the only thing that's stopping us, one of the only things anyway, that's stopping us is the fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of the cost that it's gonna be, that's going to happen if we, if we take this, this step. Fear of teachers not knowing as much as the students, which I believe is quite a good thing. I, I feel like it, we need to make sure that we... We, don't, we're not, we shouldn't be afraid of the fact that students are taking the lead in the classroom and that they're bringing something to the table too. If they know how to use the devices that we fear, surely that makes for a much more exciting time in the classroom, for them and for us. So how can we prepare? How can we move forward? How can we prepare our students for a future that we're afraid of right now? And I believe that we need to look at it in a different way. We're not talking about students in that sense. We're talking about all learners. We're talking about all students, all teachers, all parents, one of which we all are. And we need to think, as learners, how can we move forward? How can we each take a part of what education is and take it, make sure we change it in the classroom? And we can only do that if we integrate it fully into in, into, in, into, the, into school. If we integrate it fully, we provide support by people who maybe know more about tech, by getting the students to lead in certain things. If we model and demonstrate and make sure that every person has the ability to move forward in their knowledge of using technology in the classroom. We obviously can't forget that we need to think about safety. We need to think about online digital safety. But this should be a necessity in schools, as been talked about today already. And we, most important of all, so that it links in with what we're doing for, um, in businesses, we have to keep it authentic. We have to keep it real. We have to make sure that what we're teaching and how we're learning is not disconnected from how students are finding out information at home and how businesses are using uh, technology to move forward. If we involve everyone, and if we do this, the fear of technology will be eliminated. We can take action together, students, parents, and teachers, together. We should be able to, with this, narrow the divide. Narrow the divide between the teacher, and narrow the divide between the teacher and the students. Between home and school, and between businesses and how we prepare students for businesses through education. We need to narrow that divide. For the first time in history, this is where we genuinely need every person in school to come together. We need the help of the students as well as the teacher. The knowledge, their knowledge, as digital natives, as people who grow up and use this technology every single day, we need to make sure that they Bring in their devices, bring in what they use into the classroom. All learning, all facilitating the learning. Working together to prepare tomorrow's children. Exciting times, so many possibilities. Um, and I'm looking forward to discovering the future together. Thank you.